this is what we were talking about largely at the council meeting, um, that there are three issues um, that are really, really important in terms of our participation. They don't all relate directly to the economic situation, but they are important political considerations that we really need to talk up in our communities and take some responsibility for organization of groups. Move On and some of the others are doing this. But the first one we have um, in, in Florida is the whole thing on legislative redistricting. If you recall, we as voters accepted and approved the idea of Amendment 5 and Amendment 6 both of which dealt with redistricting. We are now having problems mm -hmm. because the Republican-dominated um, legislature is doing everything it can to block any kind of implementation of this, of this happening. Jesse Jackson okay. has been down several times and he is really concerned about this issue of voter suppression in Florida because we have very draconian legislation. We were so we were so traumatized in this state by two, the election in 2000, which was fraudulent. And we know now how fraudulent it was. And for us to have to go through this, and somehow we are a target state. You know that. Yes. And the mm -hmm. R's are coming for their, their um, convention in Tampa, we are really, really in the frying pan here. So it will be next summer. So keep, get ready, and thank you so much. But this all ties in mm -hmm. to everything that you set up here. And as I said, it's all very, very much our basis for justice. And we cannot get, get peace without justice. Yeah. And then the third thing, what was our third move thing? Move to amend. Move to amend, yes. Move to amend is a big movement. Now move on, and a lot of these are involved, but we have um, in Florida the movement toward getting an amendment against the, the voter uh, limitation that United Citizens, Citizens United got. And this is really to restore um, our right to vote and not tie in all of this other stuff which um, Citizens United try to do. And corporations do not have the birthright that we have as human beings and as citizens. That's the real bottom line and the idea of equating um, free speech at, with free people and not free corporations. Yes, ma'am. To the problems with vote suppression, that's been a problem in Florida for a long time. Mm -hmm. Florida's already one of the hardest states in which to vote. Uh, and you're going to find, if you're like me, when you're, I have to go tomorrow and renew my driver's license, I'm going to have to take my birth certificate because, because now I've been, I've been driving since I was 14 years old, it wasn't yesterday, and, and so I, now I'm going to have to take my birth certificate down here. Now, how many people in the state of Florida, you know, can't do that. They don't know where their birth certificate is. They're, they're from someplace else, right. you know, and to go down there and have to do that. And then the state is limited. What you can use is photo ID. And what they'll accept. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to have a government issued uh, ID, most likely, to, to vote. They're not going to take just you know, right. you're not going to take your country club number. And they're also requiring women their marriage certificate. Yeah. Yes, I had to bring my marriage divorce. You have to have marriage To get a driver's license? National registration. Now, and that's what you need to realize in Florida is about 20% of the people um, who will vote in the next election aren't going to have to show any ID because they're going to vote by absentee. And, and with all this talk about voter fraud, the fraud is an absentee balloting. It's not at the polls. People who plan on cheating are not showing up at the polls. They're working the absentee ballots, which is much easier if you want to manipulate, uh, if you want to manipulate the vote. I overheard Mike talking about a program to issue ID cards. Uh, I would like to know more about that uh, with the, uh, perhaps the idea of uh, doing it in my own neighborhood. It's an organization based in Orlando called I Dignity. 
because it's only been going for about two and a half years. And what it's about primarily is to get Florida ID or a driving license for people that are homeless or uh, for any other reason. Uh, they, they told us that in the past they've even brought people from the county jail to, to get the, the photo ID. But, but people that are kind of out in the street, that, that can be a big problem. But in any case, uh, the, the important thing there is they have the van outside. So it's not just a kind of thing advising you how to do it. Mo most of the time, the, pe the, the people can walk out of there and they'll have an ID. Students in free enterprise, otherwise known as SIF, is looking for an advisor and the VP for Student Affairs thinks that they should be linked with the Institute for Leadership and Values and ask Frank if he'll do it. <laughs> So all of a sudden, for the last year, I have been involved, and I've been getting myself, my feet on the ground. That is a new model, and what I'm getting at is one of the, wheel, this is all affecting policy change that uh -huh. needs to happen. But there's another thing that's going on, and it's behavioral change. Yeah. And it's all the backlash to the demise of values in the workplace and in leadership. And it has to do, and it's not unrelated to, you know, and somebody alluded to it, yeah, those people that are out the door, Increasingly, more of them, maybe not a lot of them, but more of them, and the problem is that more and more of them will see that they have a social responsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that now I am told that the old model of you're going to make it in business, it's return on investment to your um, investors, and that is the bottom line, financial profitability, but they say no now. It's the three tiers, and so they have to get their sort of all theory. I'm sure you've seen this too. Mm -hmm. That uh, no, you will not make it in the world today because the conscience of the people is changing, and you won't be, be successful if a you don't produce a product and a service that in fact contributes to the quality of life. So that's called social responsibility. And C, it better be John. It better be environmentally sustainable. You won't succeed. You won't succeed. Now, so that is a radical, a radical, what I would call not a policy change, but a behavioral change that ultimately is about forming conscience, dealing with issues of ethics and moral integrity yeah. in the workplace. Yeah. So that a CEO who's yeah. making an out the door salary will say, and I don't know how they did it in Germany, was it policy or was it conscience, but I can't take that salary. I've got to bring up the salary of my yeah. workers. So I just want to say, there's behaviors, it's just not policy. And I think I have a little bit of hope in what I see going on, that some of that it might be changing. So I, see, I see the hands of two young people raising their hands. Corporations for not having regard for social justice issues for the last, oh God, 100 years, however long, and it's finally caught. It's that, it's finally caught on. Mm. It's not come out of nowhere. 